Hi all and welcome back to my ongoing very first let's play of the very first Siberia GOG version modded and all and we just talked to the professor and well I think we are about to fetch some stuff but before we do that I just want to say that if you are enjoying the let's play the channel or any other stuff on here I would love if you dropped a sub and a like now, we have some stuff we could talk to him about further, but I think we talked about the most important stuff, and we now know that he might be interested in the mammoth doll that we have. Let's see if we can go up here. Oh, this is like the, the lecturing hall. Okay, can we go round and come down on the other side perhaps? Or can we go like down down? Yeah, I think that's like a, a projector or something. Okay, nice to uh, explore it, but I don't think we can do anything at the moment. Which might have to do with... Professor said that he was giving lectures, so maybe we can come back no later. Point. It's locked. Oh, so there's actually a room there. Okay, for now, I think we are done up here. Which also means that we have been everywhere inside of the university, I think. Yeah, we can do nothing with that. With that fossil. Okay, let's head outside and get the doll. Hello? So, you got him then, this air? Ah, it's you, Mr. Marson. Good day, and, and how are you, sir? I'll feel a whole lot better when this whole business is over and the sales contract is signed. Where the hell are you? I'm in Barakstadt. What? What in God's name are you doing there? It's a magnificent university town. It would appear Hans Varlberg once passed by here uh, several years ago. So if he isn't there anymore, then there's no point hanging around. I hear what you're saying, sir, but I have good reason to believe that Hans Varlberg is still alive. For the time being, I'm trying to gather extra information from people who have known him. What's your next destination? I'm not exactly sure, yet. Doesn't sound like you know too much, Kate. I just need a bit of time, Mr. Marson. Yeah, well, time is what you ain't got. Keep me posted. I feel sorry for Kate. Like, her boyfriend seems like a piece of scum, <laughs> and her boss is a hard case as well. She's just trying to, you know, be thorough, do some good work. Yes, we also need to fix the bandstand in order to get funding that we can give to the, the German folks. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's think. We could get the doll, but we could also... Maybe we should start with that. We know that we can talk to the uh, station master again. About the Sauvignon. Ah, let's get the, the doll first. So many choices.
Hello there, good sir. Never seen Oscar hanging hanging around in any of the rooms. Okay, let's get that. That's a very big jacket she has as well. Okay. That's one thing taken care of. Let's go and talk to the station master. This side, right? I think it was. No, yeah, maybe it was. Let's actually go and check this little side lane. I don't think we ever did that previously. No, we did not. Some boxes. I can't go that way. All right. Can't say I'm super surprised about that. Okay. At least now we have, I think, been everywhere in the area. This is, yeah, okay. They are still guarding that. This is definitely the right place. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? It's time to talk business. Where might I find some forest sauvignon plants, please? No place around here, that's for sure. I don't know what you're talking about. That stuff's from the Amazon. <laughs> you know, for someone who knows nothing about the plant, you seem pretty well informed about which mysterious faraway country it comes from. Oh, well, I'm Amazon, Peru, Papua, New Guinea, it's all the same to me. Gotta go. Gotta work. Wait, don't go! You know what? I don't think he was being totally straight with me. Well, girl, you and I are of the same mind. That was very, very fishy indeed. Let's hassle him again. He's an old guy. He can't have run way too far. Okay. Ah, okay, so he did run off. Or not, you know. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see I am very, very busy? Uh, no. I, well, well, I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. I'm looking for a kind of little juicy berry. You don't know where I could find some? Look, lady, the station doesn't have any Sauvignon berries, not even forest Sauvignon. Funny you should mention it. That's exactly what I was looking for. Forest Sauvignon. Uh, Sauvignon, raspberries, red currants, they're all the same to me. And we don't grow none of them here. But you see, I have just read a very interesting book, which says that the rare Sauvignon berry is actually cultivated here, 
in the famous Baruchstadt University Avery itself. Well, if it's in a book, then... <laughs> don't believe everything you read, miss. I don't know why, but I don't think you're telling me the truth. What do you mean? I don't know. I mean, how should I know where to find your stupid grave? Go ask your professor, what's his name, Pons, the paleontologist. But you're the master of this station, so you should know better than anyone. Nobody tells me anything. I don't know. Go see the old guy with the fossils. Okay. I won't disturb you any longer, Mr. Station Master. Welcome to Barockstadt, miss. Wow. Very dismissive. And sort of, you know, still not unfriendly. Okay, two reasons to go back and talk to Professor Palms. Yeah. Sprint, please. There we go. It's a pretty cool entrance to the building, though, I have to say. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, we'll start with the grapes, and then we'll bribe him by giving him the doll. Get on his good side. Uh, yep, yep, yep. We are back, sir. Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. What is it you want to know, miss? I want to know about the Forest Sauvignon. You wouldn't know where the Forest Sauvignon plants are kept in Barkstadt, would you? Uh, why do you think there are Sauvignon plants here? I read about it in a book at the library. Uh, try going to see the station master. If such a shrub exists, he will have a better idea than anyone. It's actually he who sent me to you. I thought it a little strange, but he definitely said ask the paleontologist. You're the only one here, aren't you? Yes, yes indeed. What a strange way to behave. Well, I, um, I think he must have made a mistake, that's all. Nobody tells me anything here. Maybe you should ask the rectors. After all, they are in charge of the university. All right, thanks. Well, okay. So, <laughs> no one is really want to talk about the four... Is, is the grapes... Do they make wine? Are they hoarding wine somewhere? Is I'll this leave you in on? peace. I hope I haven't disturbed you too much. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. Okay. So... Uh, should we give him the doll? Yeah, maybe we should just do that anyway, seeing as we're here. Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. Professor, I have brought you something that should be of interest to you. Look. What have you got there, then? Let's see. An effigy of a mammoth. But this is Hans doll, is it not? Yes, of course it is. How on earth did you... Oh, my God. It's in my hands. It exists. It really exists. Please, please do excuse me. I'm, I'm deeply, deeply moved. You see? Your Hans and my Varlberg heir are one and the same. This is incredible. After all these years, how can I ever thank you, my dear? Oh, I must waste no time. I'm off to my laboratory. I must study this carefully. May I borrow your treasure a moment? Uh, well, actually, uh... Don't worry, miss. I will take the greatest care of it. But I need to study it. You see, it has such importance to me that this very afternoon I shall deliver an impromptu lecture to my students about this very object. 
If you are interested in Hans Vorlberg, then it is essential that you attend. Hmm? Do you think so? Obviously. Give me your telephone number and I will call you the moment my lecture begins. I will return you your doll at the end. You have my word. Oh. Well, hello. Cool looking room. What can we do here, if anything, really? Aha! Barockstadt voice cylinders. We have another one to add to the collection. Anything else we can pinch? No, I don't think there's anything more in the cabinet. Okay, we can look at that table. So let's do just that. What did I just pick up? Is that a little telescope? Oh, no, telescope, microscope. Okay, what do we have? Oh, the Jengala Cola powder. Was that the thing that enhanced our eyesight? Test tube holder. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Is it you want to know, Miss? Okay, let's talk about the. Uh, Professor, uh, how do I say this? You see, I didn't think I'd need a lot of money when I set out. And it turns out I need money after all. It's a delicate matter, I know, but I was wondering if you could help me out. My dear, it would be a pleasure, but you see, I barely have enough myself to cover my meager expenditure on what I'm paid by the university. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend or... However, if we look at the example of Hans, it is true that our university always rewards people who perform some service for it. This is our dear rector's jurisdiction, however. Yeah, we already got that. Uh, let's see. My train stopped in a peculiar aviary. It's very odd. A lot of bird species seem to seek harbor there. Ornithology is far from being my favorite subject, but I must concede that the station is the pride of the university. It was initially intended for teaching purposes, but then birds started arriving from all around the world. <laughs> it seems that there are still rare species breeding there and flourishing. Are there? Can you give me an example? Hmm. I have been told about a kind of bird with peculiar habits. Let's see now, the, uh, um, the Amazon cuckoo, that's right. But, uh, oh, I'm so foolish, I can't remember what was so special about it. Just that its behavior is very peculiar. The Amazon? Where's the Amazon? What is the Amazon? I'm sorry, my dear, but one cannot learn everything in a lifetime. Specialization is the key to real knowledge. Why don't you pay a visit to our library? Thank you very much. I'll leave you in peace. I hope I haven't disturbed you too much. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. So basically, we got a lot of information that could have led us to the library where we could find the books and read about the Jengala cola powder and the cuckoos, but we've already done that, so... All fits together. Okay. 
So back to the three old guys. Gentlemen, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving stations. These three old guys are so weird. They're either, like, super helpful, or they're very not helpful, almost rude. I don't... Yeah, they're very, very strange. I don't really have a feel for these dudes. Anyway, Sauvignon time. Are you sure there are no Amazon Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt? Because I have just interviewed the station master and the paleontologist, and what they said really didn't convince me that there wasn't any here. We are quite definite on this point. There are no Sauvignon plants growing in Barockstadt. You see, miss, the Amazon Forest Sauvignon is a rare shrub that requires very special conditions for growth. That's right. Uh, conditions that are very hard to reproduce, believe you me. Difficult, but not impossible. Uh, fortunately, our garden has proved very successful. Your garden? So, there is a garden in Barakstadt? Oh, the garden. Well... If there was one, it would be only a little garden hidden behind the station. But our station master would be very proud of it. He would take very good care of it, too. Everything would grow marvelously if we were able to cultivate it at all, and it would be all down to his gardening prowess. And we would be proud as punch. And we wouldn't forget the role the paleontologist might play in this. What's the paleontologist got to do with it all? Without him and without his laboratory, how would we make the wine, do you think? And it would be good wine indeed, my dear colleagues, would it not? Oh, yes, a delightful balm to soothe away our long hours of toil and our heavy responsibilities. We would wait impatiently every year for the arrival of the year's produce. So, if I have understood you correctly, there are indeed Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt. They are cultivated in a garden behind the station, then turned into wine by the paleontologist's loving care. And finally, the pleasure of tasting is yours. If I'm not very much mistaken, gentlemen, you have a minor racket operating here. Miss, you do go jumping to some hasty conclusions. We never said that. That's not what we said at all. Uh, we, we were talking in the conditional. You know, with ifs and woulds. So, what would happen if I had such a hunch? Hmm, you would have to keep it to yourself, of course. Yes, if, if you would be so kind as to keep it a secret. <laughs> it would only be a small local concern, producing barely a few bottles every year. That's right, nothing so grandiose as a business. Otherwise, we'd be liable to be fined. So, we can't count on your discretion, can't we? Don't worry, I have no intention at all of getting messed up in anything. Uh -huh. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. So, it turns out that my wild theory was correct. These old gentlemen are indeed brewing wine and drinking it themselves. Also, maybe selling it for a tidy sum. Those guys are shady. But I think we have all we need now to go back to the station master again. And, you know... get him to open the door. I think it was probably the area we just explored previously with the closed door. OK. 
Okay, Station Master, this time we know everything. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see I am very, very busy? Uh, no. Uh, well, well, I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. Oh, you can, and you shall. You have been playing with me, haven't you? You knew very well there were forest sauvignon berries in the station garden. No, not at all. I've never seen your sauvignon things. You don't have to lie to me. I know all about it. You and the rectors are in cahoots, and the professor's lab has been turned into a distillery. You've all got a nice little smuggling racket on the side. Smuggling racket? Hey, hey lady, you're going a bit far there. It's just a little on-the-side thing we got going. That's all. It's just for ourselves. Hey, be honest. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Aren't you worried about the reputation of this fine university? The authorities should be informed of this. But we haven't done anything wrong. It's not a crime. Can you open the gate to the garden, please? Sure, sure. No problem. Right away, miss. And now he's friendly. Let's see if my theory was correct that it is on this side. Kinda has to be. There you are. Please feel free to visit the garden at your leisure. And uh, uh, there was just one thing. I, I'm not a liar. Not really. Just mum's the word. There is the reputation in the university to think about. And I have superiors. And I have to do what I can. I understand. Don't you worry. Oh, thank you, miss. I mean, he's not a bad dude. He's a lying dude. But I don't feel like he's, like, an evil person. Very, very nice. Okay, what do we have? So I think those are the forest berries. Nice Sauvignon grapes. And we all know what we can do with these, aside from distilling wine and selling them for Titus on. It is time to get some birds really drunk. Okay. Birds, your time has come. Even though they, they like the grapes though, so it's not like we're punishing them. Not really. Great success. Hmm. 
Well, it's quite a quite a ways to go. We are, I think, only halfway up to wherever we're going, and what that place is, we just have to wait and see and explore it in the next part. Thank you for following along with me when I investigated the wine mystery in Barakstad. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I would love if you dropped a sub or a like and if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.